cryptocurrency is not regulated. The money is not insured. So we have the investors and then we have the what? The brokers. We obviously know the investors. If Bitcoin is at $14,000 today and it goes up to $16,000 tomorrow, the, the investor just made a profit of $2,000 in 24 hours. How many types of people are there that invest in Bitcoin? There's only two. There's the investors and there's the brokers. The individuals who are investing in Bitcoin, they love having conversations about Bitcoin. Specifically, they love all the bad shit, the wrong shit that's happening with Bitcoin. The people who are just investing in Bitcoin, making thousands and millions of dollars, they love the conversation. Why do they love the conversation of the negative stuff with cryptocurrency? It's because that gives them a, a closer pulse on what their money is doing. And now with the new information that you give them, if it's bad information, someone who's investing in it, right? They're going to have now new information that they can go and do research on to protect their investment. Now, the brokers out there who are helping, they're getting paid an additional amount for helping you invest into your cryptocurrency. Those people, they're not going to have a long conversation. They're, they're, only, they're headline people. They're only going to give you the headlines. They're like the TMZ of Bitcoin. They're only going to tell you how much it went up. They're going to tell you where it's going to be accepted in the future. They don't want to hear anything negative. If they hear, if you ask them or tell them something negative or something bad that's happening or something that you disagree in or a flaw that you see in cryptocurrency, they may address your flaw or what you're bringing to the table. But after they quickly address it, they're going to make a hard left turn. It's going to be such a hard left turn. By the time they finish talking, you would have forgotten the flaw that you originally brought to their attention. That's the brokers. Again, you can't say anything really about it because cryptocurrency is not regulated. So the brokers and dealers, they can actually do that and it's open. And if you don't invest with them, they're going to the next person that's caught up in what all this Bitcoin is. So the purpose of me giving my perspective on this cryptocurrency and Bitcoin is so that you hear a different voice, right? So that you hear a different voice. So it's not just, oh, well, this is the future and you got to get down with it. I'll say, how long does it take to turn a Bitcoin into cash? And they're going to make that hard left, and they're going to take me all the way down a yellow brick road where they have no idea that I'm actually, that I actually understand the industry more than they assume that I do. So all I really want to know is on average, how long does it take to turn a Bitcoin into cash? On average, on average, we all know people live to 100, 120 years old, but on average, what is the life expectancy of people in America today? Right? There's always an average, right? What's the average? There's, there's high gas prices in North Carolina. There's the lowest gas prices in North Carolina, but on average, the gas is about this much. On average, based off of the people that I know who are making and who have lost money and who have cashed in their Bitcoin, it takes about seven days. It takes about seven days. So all I'm saying is for the person who has a challenge with their bank taking two or three days to clear a check, maybe Bitcoin isn't for you. But again, I'm not saying what you should or shouldn't do saying you need to educate yourself on it and don't just because what what we're doing is is we're not educating ourselves about bitcoin we're just regurgitating what we know about bitcoin right we we watch a video or we see a presentation 
we read a headline and it says Bitcoin, blah, 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 blah. And it'll be from like Coindesk or it'll be from like Bitcoin.com. New headline, new article. And then we'll just take that. But like I was telling the group earlier, it's like even if like if I when I go to church and there's a really, really good message, I'm not one of those people who just hear the message. And just take it at its value. Like I love it. I love the message so much. I'm going to go home and I'm going to actually dissect the scriptures that they were talking about. And I'm going to come to my own conclusion with the message that was given. And I believe the same thing should be done when you're talking about investing in cryptocurrency or Bitcoin. Educate yourself. Right? That's it. That's, that's all I'm saying is educate yourself. You need to know. Because if you're not good with not having your money accessible right there on the spot then you're going to be very frustrated if a company or your bit you lose a bitcoin and you're not able to get your money because you didn't know what you was getting into right and again if you're investing in bitcoin like you're not a broker if you're just investing in bitcoin i think it's a great investment just like I mean, it's it's as a great investment as like a dollar stock. I've made investments in the stock market and made a twenty twelve hundred percent uh twelve hundred percent profit day or two with a specific company, right? So however you get it is how you get it. But just remember, listen, it's it's not regulated, right? And it's not insured. Did you know that? If you don't know that it's not the industry, the Bitcoin is not regulated. When you lose your money in that, you just lose your money. If you're not okay with that, you should probably not invest in the Bitcoin. Into cryptocurrency. People who are investing in Bitcoin, uh, in cryptocurrency, they're people who are, the, the smart people are not Someone was talking to me the other day about, you know, you should take all your savings and you should put it into and you should transfer it into a Bitcoin. But I'm like, but it's not regulated. <laughs> right. But it, again, I, this is just a clear this is my clear perspective on it. Uh educate yourself on bitcoin the only people that are frustrated or angry at my perspective on bitcoin is those dealers or those brokers that aren't regulated they haven't even educated themselves they're just regurgitating what they've seen in the last presentation video or conference call and now they're helping people invest in the bitcoin and their highest selling point on why you need to invest in the bitcoin what they always bring it full circle to is how much it is on the market at this point and what i've learned about the market is that how much it goes up every day or every week is very important but it'll never be as important because here's the thing if your selling point is how much the how much it is on the market right now how much is going up it's not going to stop your whole conversation about it's not going it is is about it's not going to stop it's just going to keep going up it's going to keep going up. They'll, it'll go down for a little bit, but best believe it's going to eventually go back up. It's going to go down for a little bit, but it's eventually, it's always going to go back up. It's always going to go back up. It's always going to go back up. And all I'm, all I'm bringing to your attention is that you never judge a company that you invest in by when it's doing good. You judge your investment in a company when it's doing bad so if the selling point is it's doing this on the market today what is the selling point when it's down not just for a day i know bitcoin cryptocurrency has been down for a day or two days but then it goes back up but what about those days where it's down like really low for like weeks and months at a time what is the selling point at that point? Is it, is it, um, is it better than cash? 
you guys keep saying that the value of the dollar. You talk bad about the value of American dollar. It keeps going down. It keeps going down. It keeps going down. No matter what you say, when I go to – y'all seen the video I did on YouTube. Go to Billionaire Brown Online. Type in Bitcoin turned into cash subway, and you'll see the video right there, right? Is, I, is If Bitcoin is not accepted – at most of the place, if I can't buy my groceries at the local grocery store with Bitcoin, however low and terrible you're saying the value of American dollar is, I can buy my groceries with that American dollar, however weak you say it is. So again, that's not one of the greatest selling points you should probably use, as, at least right now. Because you can't say that the American dollar sucks and it has no value and that the Bitcoin is more valuable than the American dollar because it's not accepted everywhere the American dollar is accepted today. Maybe you could say for tomorrow, which is a you know a great leading in the future to future to future. And you can't also, like we were talking about on the, on the podcast previously, is like you can't compare Bitcoin to gold. It's it's silly to do that when you really think about it. If you're a person that's, you know, you just like whatever sounds good, then you probably like it. Yeah, Bitcoin is like gold. In fact, even the, the logo colors are gold. No, it's not like gold at all because gold is something, it's something tangible, right? Even if the price of gold goes down tomorrow, it's something tangible. I could sell cardboard paper if I want to because it's tangible, the price of cardboard paper goes down tomorrow. It has no value. I can always sell it to somebody because it's tangible. Have you ever heard of offer up? Right? I can always get something in return. You go on Craigslist. There's bundle packages. People buying used stuff all day, every day. A poor man's trash is another man's treasure. A man's trash is a per another person's treasure, right? It's tangible. So that's why I believe gold is different than Bitcoin. Gold is something tangible. Even if the value of price of gold goes down tremendously tomorrow, if it goes down to zero, the price of gold tomorrow goes down to zero, that's okay. I still have it. It's something tangible. When Bitcoin, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all. Even I don't know how light works, but I use it every day. But the point is, is that if you don't, if Bitcoin, you don't have, it's nothing tangible. And I know they'll create a new response back for that, but there's nothing, tan I'm just saying how it's different than gold. Because so many people, especially the brokers and, and uh, cryptocurrency, they talk a lot about the comparison between gold and Bitcoin. And I just don't see it. I just don't see it. So again, that's my update on it. Um, as an influencer, uh, as somebody that people contact for perspective, for advice, for reasoning, I had to create this. So again, two types of people who invest in Bitcoin. That's the investors and that's the brokers, the dealers. All right, peace. Dental problems don't get better the longer you wait. They just get worse and more expensive. The number one dental plan in America today guarantees to save you 20 to 80% on all dental procedures you can get done in the dental office. Regular teeth cleanings all the way up to cosmetic dentistry. No waiting periods. Contact a benefit consultant immediately to find out what open enrollment specials are available in your state today. 888-674-9409.